Hello, and welcome to the eighth episode of All About the Experiences. I'm so fortunate to have you all here and joining me and encouraging me through this whole process and journey, if you will. It has been phenomenal. I can't think of another word to say. I am truly taken back by the outpouring of love and support and um, simply just accolades that I received from last week's episode. Um, it's not always easy to kind of bury your soul and share different parts of your story, but I felt like that was really important to share my health and wellness journey, and I'm so very glad that I did. The response and um, a lot of the emails, texts, and um, direct messages in on my social media platforms was truly it was overwhelming, and I have to say um, it it meant so much to me. You know, coming from this standpoint, if I can make a difference in just one person's life. Um, whether it be my story or my journey or, you know, whatever it is, day-to-day um, -day contact, if you will, it means something to me. And um, it gives you validation as a person. I mean, there are so many other things that you can get validation from, but um, when you know that you can make a difference in someone's life, that's powerful. And I'm just appreciative of, of having this platform to even be able to share my story and um, produce dialogue and conversation. And, you know, people are making um, life choices and changes. And sometimes when you hear someone else's story, it, it makes you feel like, okay, maybe I am heading down the right path, or maybe I'm not heading down the right path. But it gives you something else to kind of base it against. And so I said all that to basically say thank you. Thank you all for pouring into me as I kind of had about pouring um, on my own. But it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I'm looking forward where we're at it, uh, episode 80. So uh, again, thank you all. I have to tell you, I have been on a myriad of different uh, Zoom calls and FaceTime, even though some of my FaceTimes, I've, I really look forward to them because they involve um, an adult beverage. Um, I love happy hour FaceTime. That's always a favorite pastime of late. So, um, but I was on one call in particular today. I was very fortunate. I connected with a young lady. Um, her name is Jasmine Kyleen, and she is a conscious media journalist. I love the title. And you're probably asking, well, what exactly type of journalist is that? Well, never fear. I plan to have this young woman um, on an episode coming soon. But I can certainly tell you this. I know that we had set up this meeting uh, between she and I just to talk about strategies and networking and things of that nature. And, you know, in the midst of the, uh, the conversation, what I have to tell you, she poured into me. And one of the things that she said that just resonated with me and I was just like, okay, I'm going to talk about this today. And everything happens for a reason. Let me just say that. I had a scheduled guest and unfortunately she wasn't able to join us today. And so instead of pivoting, my new word is definitely just kind of switching things up because everybody hates uh, pivot. So with that being said, uh, I had this phone call and I said, you know what, this is perfect uh, for me to talk about today. But what Jasmine shared with me was reconnecting with your why. How powerful is that? Like whatever that is, whether it's something that you're aiming towards in the way of your career, your health and wellness, your children, um, anything, to be honest with you, anything that you set your mind to and you get to that plateau and you're like, why? Why am I doing this? Reconnect with that and figure that out. And you never know, you may have an opportunity not only to figure that out for yourself, 
but also to help someone else on their journey. So I'm really looking forward to having her as a guest. And I'm telling you, I have been truly, truly blessed with the uh, guests that I've had on All About the Experiences. This podcast kind of started off as um, an opportunity not only for me to connect with other people and share these amazing interactions and relationships and um, just all of the great tidbits that they bring in their uh, area of expertise, but also that connectivity, especially right now. There's so much going on in the world and, you know, COVID-19 has us all separated and kind of operating out of our norms. And um, it's also, even through these challenges, it's, it's made me realize how resilient we all are. We have to applaud ourselves for our journey through this experience and we're doing it together. And we're trying to be mindful um, of the things that we're doing so that we're not, we're hopefully, we're not spreading the virus or we're trying to uh, slow the spread, but also just being cognizant of those that are around us. And, you know, a lot of times we're walking around, like I have my mask, I always have a mask on the ready. I have uh, at least a couple in the car and um, in my purse, or, you know, I, I see a lot of people, it's the new jewelry, they're just hanging from their ears, but it says a lot now. There's a lot of back and forth on whether or not these masks are truly making a difference. But even with that being said, even whether it is or it's not, we all recognize it as um, an opportunity for us all to do something um, that's collective and hopefully in the right direction to not only stop this the spread or slow the spread, but just that we care about each other, you know? Nothing has been proven, but it is what it is. We, we have to do what we need to do to protect this so that we can protect each other. Um, I don't know about you, but going through this has definitely had its challenges, um, but it's also given me an opportunity to reconnect with my family. And not that we weren't disconnected, but when you're spending this much time with people, you get a better perspective of who they are and who you are in their lives and just trying to make a make way in a new space. And um, I have to say, I have enjoyed the fact that us being quarantined or, you know, um, holding in place has been a good thing because I've been able to really spend some great quality time and connect in an old school way, as my son would say. We're doing family fun night, board games, playing Uno. And by the way, I am an Uno queen. That is my game. I've also had some dear friends come over and teach me how to play spades and dominoes. And I can admit, I did not know that, how to play, but I'm getting there. I know what two and a possible is now. So it's an opportunity for us to get together and try something different, or maybe try something simply that we've tried before, but never really offered that opportunity or had that opportunity to really uh, put something deep into it and figure figure it all out or figure out if, even if it's something that you truly liked. So I'm really enjoying um, that opportunity. Um, the other thing is, is I'm taking time to do um, self-exploration. I, I feel I'm an avid believer in this. You're never too old to learn. You're never too young to learn and learning never stops. And so every time I see an opportunity to learn something, whether it's in my original field of study or it applies to my job, or maybe it's just something that piques my interest, I'm pressing forward. I want to uh, learn and I, I feel like this is the best time to do it. You know, um, we're all uh, working from home. Well, I shouldn't say we all, most of us are, or we, we have some sort of hybrid, um, work schedule or, you know, life is just different right now. So we're learning to do things differently. 
And so with the shift that we're doing, you know, it, it affords this opportunity for us to engage with people differently. And much like this podcast for me, it's again, it started off with me just talking to some dear friends and deciding, you know what, let me see what this is. I mean, I like to think of myself as an Oprah. I always did when I was younger, standing in front of my mirror and, you know, interviewing my little sister. I'm sure she appreciated that. But, you know, it gives you an opportunity to just simply try something that you didn't do before that you have always wanted to do. So, um, I have recently, I mean, in the wake of COVID, um, I've taken courses on becoming, um, believe it or not, a, a COVID tracer um, and learning more about this uh, virus and how it affects us. And, you know, um, my daughter and I, we were sitting around talking the other day and it's like, we have to be um, aware not only of ourselves, but our surroundings and being mindful of how we clean up after ourselves or what we touch, um, just again, to slow this spread. And we were talking about the movie Contagion and it's amazing. The things that we have seen um, on the silver screen, if you will, or even um, on regular television, it's like you start to realize that this stuff is not just made up in someone's imagination. This is, these are things that are tried and true and things that have obviously come to fruition. And so um, with that being said, it's just like, you know, a lot of times people are sitting here and they have things that they've been wanting to do in the way of maybe writing a book, starting on that. Uh, I see a lot of my friends that are out here, they're trying new things. I'm like, I would have never thought I could do that. And it inspires me. So why not do something that will inspire someone else? It is the best feeling in the world. I have to tell you, when I was getting all of these text messages and phone calls from last week's uh, podcast, and they were saying, Cheryl, you inspired me. Whether it be from my health and wellness journey or just the fact that I felt comfortable enough to share that story, it meant something. Uh, cancer is not an easy feat, I tell you. And um, I think about a lot of people that are not only, you know, dealing with COVID, but not only um, dealing with COVID, but dealing with other, you know, uh, diseases or co comorbidities. And it's like, you start really considering, you know, what mortality is all about. And I say that to say, again, your health is your wealth. And it's important to make sure that you're doing all the things that you possibly can to sustain yourself. And that includes your mental health. Mental health, I mean, it, it used to be that, you know, it was a stigma attached to that or, you know, people didn't want to share the fact that they've been a, a counselor, have had therapy or um, had a trying time in their marriage and it required them to seek counsel, whether it was with their clergy or just professional help. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think the more that we take that sting or that stigma out of that, people will feel comfortable and seek the treatment that they need, seek the help that they need, keep these families together. And let me tell you, it's a trying thing when you have been in the house with your family for what, we're going on four months now? And, you know, we're used to having those outlets outside of our homes and whatnot, but now we've been pretty much for the most part confined to homes and there can be things that are brimming right there on the surface and, you know, it could be the slightest little thing that can set someone off or cause a, a nuclear meltdown, if you will, and um, it's important for us to make sure that we're communicating with each other 
being respectful of each other's space. And um, also just really trying to make sure that we're checking in. I think that's really important. And again, um, if it requires that you need someone to intervene or be that mediator, do it. It's worth it. It's worth the investment. Um, if, it, if your insurance doesn't cover it and you have to pay out of pocket or that copay or whatever it is, it is. It's worth it. The people that you value the most in your life, you have to share that with them and you have to show that they mean something to you by your actions. I mean, we can all tell each other what we feel, but when you put action behind it, that means something completely different. It means that you truly do care, which brings me to my other thing is, is that, you know, there's so much death that's happening around us and um, we're losing people who have had a huge impact um, globally and individually to people. And I am a firm believer when I lost my mom five years ago now, I'm so thankful. I don't care if I was upset with her or sad about something, mad about something, whatever it was, I always made sure that I told her what she meant to me and that I loved her. And I tried to show in my actions as well. And even the last time I saw her, the last thing that I said to her was that I loved her. And I'm a firm believer in giving people their flowers while they're here letting them know what they mean to you while they're here. Letting them know when they piss you off <laughs> while they're here. But just making sure that you have that connection and you're, you know, sustaining those relationships. And it doesn't mean that everything is going to be peaches and cream all the time. It's life. But it's important to let people know what they mean to you while they're here. And I love this about this podcast. I come in contact with so many amazing people and they've all had an impact on my life. And they're so, I mean, if I could talk to somebody every single day, I would love to do that and uh, be able to record that and share that with everyone. The one thing that I can say is that I'm so appreciative of the people that are in my life that continue to pour into me. So I challenge each of you to connect with someone within your circle and just touch base with them. And not the surface like, hey, how you doing stuff, but really connect and see if there's anything that you can offer to them that would basically make things life easier or just be a listening ear. You'd be surprised how that has made such a huge difference. I've connected with people that I haven't talked to in years where uh, social media uh, friends, and I mean, they still are friends in my heart, but you know, of course, distance and time, you may not be able to talk to them every single day. And so taking that time now that, you know, we've been gifted in some ways, and connecting with people and sitting down and uh, really just conversing makes a huge difference. And you'll walk away from it likely feeling better and feeling like, you know, that you've had that connection. And um, I don't know about you all, but I'm missing human contact. And when I say that, like I have my family and I love on them all the time. They probably are just absolutely sick of me, but I'm talking about in the way of being social and being out. And, you know, I run into people even when I have gone out um, as of recent and it's so crazy. I'm like, do we hug? Do we pound? Like, what do we do? And it's a different way of thinking. And um, pretty soon I feel like we'll be donning, um, you know, little tin hats and that's how we'll transmit our feelings, emotions, and how we wish to connect to people. I hope it does not come down to that because like Charlie Boone said a, a couple of weeks ago, 
I give good hugs and I like to hug. I'm, I'm probably two hands on, but um, I, I love that human interaction and that connection. So hopefully that, you know, we're well on our way to getting in a better space where we can connect and um, just be good to each other in the space that we currently are in. But I'm certainly looking forward to getting back to that sense of normalcy, if you will. Um, this is going to be short today. Um, you know, there I, I did do a little shift um, just due to some scheduling conflicts that came up, but I deemed it very important for me to still connect and let you all know that even though I'm sharing from this direction, everything and the feedback that you guys give me is so, it's so meaningful and um, I'm so appreciative of it. And uh, I guess I'll close out with saying, as I always do, be good to each other, but more importantly, be good to yourself. Check in with someone. Take good care and have a fantastic rest of your week. Have a wonderful and safe weekend and just seize all of those experiences. Take care. <laughs>